Hey, it's Cool here if you don't know, and it is time for some more of the Long Run where we are playing Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Last time we set off on our journey from our small town of Berg, and uh, after many trepidations and trials, well, mainly the one trial, uh, we ended up on this boat, the Orca, um, on the way to Meridia, uh, Meridia where um, we'll be able to check out the rest of the world and see what lies in it. Excuse me, sir, but what is this big pole used for? This is not. We attach our sails to it. When the wind blows, it fills up the sails and makes the ship move. Simple as that. <laughs> Everything smells like fish. I'm starting to think we died and died. Right. Not that kind of steer, no. There is something that I was hoping to get to in last week's uh, session, but I don't know how much content there is left until we get to it. But it's kind of a, uh, a hallmark of this of this game. Although it's going to be kind of different experiencing it on the PSP because uh, any, any astute um, player of the first Lunar game is going to notice that there has been a lot of changes to uh, most of the dialogue. Oh, please. We did. I mean, the, there's uh, there's a whole thing of we're apparently going to be the next Dragon Master, so. Who cares about the guys? Tell me about the fish. I have a feeling, guys, that Nal really likes fish. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Wow, I am real close being able to afford two soaps. I'm wondering if I should show that off. You know what? Oh, right. I need to specify a quantity. There doesn't seem to be any upgrades for Alex. Actually, let's see if we can sell some. I'm 
get to Do I even want to do this? Because this, um, hmm. Hmm. And again, I say, hmm. I'm getting one, and we'll see what happens. But let it be known that this is the only shop in the game that sells soap. Once you leave this boat, you can no longer buy soap. For now, that's all I'm saying. Alex, I don't think I've ever been so happy. We're on a fantastic adventure. We're gonna be filthy, stinking rich. See, if I'd listened to my dad and stayed home, none of this would have happened. Before you sell the diamond that Re that Ramus keeps rambling about, I think you should meet with Master Mel. Mel sounds familiar. As well, he should. Mel is one of the four heroes in the Governor of Meridia. Mel's a, ver a very friendly person. He might even be able to put up with your attitude. Your attitude. And then, uh... Alex has grown up so much since we set up, uh, since we set up from Berg. When we left, he was just a boy, and on the outside, he still is. But he's changed on the outside. This is all happening so very suddenly. She could understand these feelings. What's the matter, Luna? You look awful. You have to hurl over the side. Oh, please. I do feel seasick now that, now that you mention it. I think I'm gonna lie down before I get any worse. Besides, I want to be ready when we arrive in Meridia. I can't wait! I still can't believe we're really doing this. I think the cutscene's coming up. Luna? Just immediately gets up. Luna. <laughs> What's the matter, Alex? Huh? Luna's missing from her bed. I don't know where she could have gone at this hour. Well then let's go find her. There's so many, there are only so many places on board where she can be. I mean, Alex just was. Just, he suddenly woke up and started looking for Luna. Walked up to the deck. Looks like we're setting up a scene here. Uh huh. Sure. What's your deal? Oh, hi, Clyde. I mean, that sounds like exactly what Mal wants. It stinks. Yes, Mr. Sherman, everything stinks. Hey, Captain. <laughs> I mean, that's probably true, yeah. Anyway, um, let's uh, let's get this scene going.
Hey, Luna, what are you... Shh. Alex, Snow, how long are you going to sleep? We're only a few miles away from Arabia. It's time to wake up and get some sunshine. Luna, I hope your nose is, uh, your nose is a snooze button because I'm about ready to punch it. No, please. You know, quit your money and get up, Stumblebutt. I'm sure I'm glad you woke me up, Luna. I was having a nightmare about a bunch of selectively clad servant girls hand feeding me fish. Excuse me for thinking you wanted to wake up sometime this year. Why are people so rude to Luna? We're in Moribia, Alex. We're really in Moribia. Give me a big juicy pinch because I have to be dreaming. Uh, let's see my dad yell at me when I come home with a sack full of silver. I think Ramus is a little overwhelmed right now. Aren't you excited too, Alex? You don't have to be gone. It's okay to let go of your emotions when so long. Why don't you calm down? Moribia is annoying anyway. Why are you so restless, Nash? You're just as worked up as the rest of us. So that I can report to Ro uh, because everyone knows you think more clearly when your heart is pumping. Uh-huh. Rubber peg legs. Let's take a good look around the ship because, like I said, we're not going to be back here. We didn't uh, explore quite all of it last time. Oh, weren't these doors open? I guess I should have done that before I, uh, like while we were in the nighttime scene. We'll never know what uh, what lies beyond those doors. Wow! It's even more magnificent than I imagined, Alex. Well, it's fun, but I, I have some business to attend to. I'll be in Moravia for a while. If you need to find me here, I usually spend my time with that fellow uh, with my fellow mages over on Black Rose Street. So long then. At last, we're finally in Moravia. Sure is a big city. All right, back to business. I'm gonna find a shop and sell this diamond for a ton of silver. Catch up with you later. <laughs> We're gonna be rich, Alex. Filthy, stinking rich. <laughs> I think I'm almost as excited as he is. Come on, Alex. Let's take a look around. One of the four heroes, Master Mel, lives in this city. You want to see him, don't you, Alex? Yeah. Of, uh, places in this city. Come to the right shop, provided that you're looking for weapons. If you're not, sorry. And unfortunately, these uh, these weapons are 
kind of expensive. But I have to say that uh, this one is probably more worth it because um, Luna gets 10 points of, uh, of attack power for that, so I'll go with that. Yeah, Alex is still uh, still has more attack power. Dying, your hell no. <laughs> I think you're the fish shaped bruise of your tongue. Yes, you are dying here. And you're probably Melia. Caribbean Express Travelers checks. Okay, sure. Ah oh, man. This hearing this music again. I don't remember the last time that I played well the original first game. I'm guessing this is an item shop? Not sure, it sure is. Probably good to have a warp wing uh, handy, at least one at all times. Okay, indoors or rat house any day. some beastie problems in the sewers. I'm sure no one was expecting that to happen. Your daughter is a burger? I mean, that's provided that, uh, oh, we know that one. I guess uh, from, you know, talking to pretty much everyone, we're bound to, um, set some story flags, just minor story flags. Also some more talk about Jessica here. I hate that the music fades out and then back in when we transition, though. White, red, blue, and black. I mean, we definitely have met the white dragon. It hides it. Yeah. Yeah, sure do, buddy. Also, don't mind me. I'm a complete stranger walking around your house. I don't know that he's really accepting visitors.
Meridia is starting to sound like Limsa Lominsa, honestly. I don't know why I keep making references to, like, Final Fantasy XIV. It's a good game. What can I say? And so all those mysterious red chests. I do wonder how to open those, and um, we're definitely not going to find them all again when it is time to get around to opening those. Because that would require me to be um, either writing them down or having like a photographic memory. <laughs> This is where Master Mel is. Luna says, I wonder if this is where Master Mel is. Luna, please. But did you say he's the greatest ruler in all Meridia? Presumably he's the only one. I mean, unless you mean like of all time. This is all red. Hmm. Hell no. <laughs> this is the ultimate glutton, apparently. Wait, what fumes are you talking about? No! I know, but Jessica's sounding kinda cool. Mel's conference room. Wonder if we'll find Mill here. Sure enough, ladies and gentlemen, Helmel the Alperg. Washi ga kono meribia o osameru meru de aru kaku da. Omae tachi mikaken kau da na. Ii ka. Moshi washi no machi de warusa o shita ra. その首引っこ抜いて壁飾りにしてやるからなよく覚えておくのだぞ Now then, what brings you to see me? Alex is going to be up the next Dragon Master, Master Mel. So he, be, he came here to pay his respects to one of the four heroes. Scaring the daylights out of us, uh, out of us like that is a little rude, don't you think? I see. We have a future Dragon Master out of this. Oh man, that's rich. I like a lad with ambition. There aren't any. Uh, there aren't enough of you around anymore. So Alex, let's find out how serious you are. What? Alex, you're gonna be smushed like a grape. 
Then we'll have some wine! <laughs> What have we gotten ourselves into? Come on, Alex. Let's see what you've got. Find an opening and hit me with your best shot. Don't go easy on me, lad, because I won't go easy on you. <laughs> We're gonna die. Unfortunately, I don't think we're meant to actually win this fight. But uh, let's show them our best shot. Well. Not bad, Alex. You need you need more training, but you have plenty of potential. Potential? Alex already met with Quark and passed the first dragon trial. Quark, eh? Well done, lad. You might be you might well be the next dragon monster after all. But I'll still be able to kick your scurvy eye. <laughs> Good talk. You know, lad. I've got a daughter, not much older than you. Your daughter's name is Jessica, isn't it? Right. That girl's got a heart of gold and a soul to match. So you're saying she's adopted? Hmm? What's that? Nothing, nothing at all. She's at Althena Shrine, learning to be a priestess, and she'll be a great one. You should meet her sometime. I think she'd like you as much as I do. But you're gonna have to grow up before I let you marry her, lad. <laughs> I don't know, Alex. I think she'd be just as scary as her father. I mean, there's one way to find out. I'm guessing we're not all out of stairs. I'm guessing we are all out of stairs. Yes, yes. Need little Miss Keyball rules. Interesting that you would say exactly that comment. I wonder if the um, whatever key opens the red chest also opens that door. Hmm. I don't know that for sure. It's been a very long time. Forced to ogle the maids all the way. Okay. It's a, a game that in some aspects did not age particularly well. So we're allowed up here, but why exactly? Oh, okay, this is where the, um... Go away, kid, you bother me. Oh no. Uh-huh. All's fair in love and war, and from the sounds of it, you're experiencing both at the same time. 
No. Gross. Don't do that. Not exactly recruits. I mean, we we just got personally trounced by Hellmill himself, so you know. I'm sure we can handle it. Are you just letting us through? This is, this is not going to be a terrible idea at all. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. As it turns out, this is a terrible idea. And I'm not able to run away. One more try. Nope. Unless I somehow dodge all of these? <sighs> One health left. So that was a terrible idea. And I think I'm going to have to reload. Yeah. Mm. Well. The nice thing for you people watching the VOD on YouTube is you're not going to have to sit through that whole thing again. So I'll be right back. So maybe the uh, getting a game over thing was a blessing in disguise because that lets us be on this boat again and see what's behind these doors. Great discovery! Okay, we're back. And uh, this time we're not going into the sewers with basically no health. We are gonna do is check out the temple, which is where uh, apparently. Oh, yes, please, yes. This is apparently where Jessica's daughter, Mel's daughter, Jessica, uh, <laughs> Jessica's daughter, Mel, apparently. Spirit to dock the boat and in the waters bind them? That makes no sense. Arabians are not liking of noisy people. Noisy like the neighbors who keep banging against the wall for some reason.
Well, we found Remus. these wares. I was trying to see if I could go downstairs there, but it doesn't look like I can. At least not now. Also, look at this, this gay vendor stall. You know what? I approve. Kid, please. You've already been in this house, right? Yeah. My memory is awful. I'm sure everyone knows that by now. We haven't been down here. Ah, Black Rose Street. Compact version of Ma Vane's Magic Guild without the elitist attitude. Not to mention the altitude? Hmm. And there are a lot of shops here. Also, I forgot to buy another wolf. I did rebuy the soap and the bow for Luna. Magic toothbrush. Scrub your teeth while you sleep. Your fault when I can track gingivitis. Gingivitis. Uh huh. to speak to Facia to get into here. We do have the dragon ring. I mean, definitely, but like... There's just poo. Can we use this? No. Oh, yeah, boy. That's pretty pricey, though. Magic wig. Okay. I don't think that Luna is um is like a magic 
person necessarily, but you know. Lightweight armor is definitely your thing. And that's what happened. I still haven't determined if singing is the key. I have a strong suspicion that it is. Nash, your friends have come. Alex, Luna, did you think to knock before entering? いらっしゃいませ。ロウィスの占い所にようこそですわ。探し物、商売の決断、そして恋の悩み、何でも解決して差し上げますわよ。さあ、あなたの未来、ロウィスに見せてごらんなさい。We really didn't come to learn anything in particular. We were trying to find Nash. Oh, really? And when I glimpse of your future child, you need my services quite desperately. So many of the questions you have about yourself are ones that I could answer. And you, Alex. You seek to become the greatest hero the world has ever known. But you are too humble to be a dragon master. You are unwilling to choose power and glory for both friends and family. This will be a good one. So what's my fortune, lady? Licking your paws and coughing up hairballs, cat. It is an insult to think that I would waste my energy looking too into the future of a rodent. I'm not a cat! Or a rodent, for that matter. Nor are cats rodents, like what... I mean, there is a lot here, yeah. I mean, Nash wants a girlfriend. I mean, you probably should. She does kind of have that sort of aura about her. And Dangway, um, I don't know if there is anything else that we need to do. Yeah, there we go. You don't understand. This is a dragon diamond freshly minted for Quark's mighty keister. He doesn't give these away to just anyone, you know. How am I supposed to know if this is a genuine dragon diamond? You've had a devil of a time with dragon zirconium lately. Seems we've got a fool in here every day now claiming to have a genuine dragon diamond. But I will admit this is the most beautiful gemstone ever to see. Hey Alex, you came at just the right time. I'm still negotiating with this guy to buy the diamond, but I might have to sell for a lot less than it's worth. You think you can help me put some pressure on, the, on him to give us a better deal? Like I've been telling you, young man, this is a wonderful stone, but the dragon diamond? Sorry, no. No one even knows where to find the dragons anymore, much less how to get diamonds from them. Alright, alright. So... How much will you give us for it? For a diamond of this caliber, I'll give you 20,000 silver for it. And that is my one and only offer. It's your decision too, Alex. What do we do? You know what? Believe in yourself. Why not? 
Is that right, young man? Well, you're welcome to look around, but you're not going to find a store that can offer half as much as me. I'm the richest jeweler in Mer Meridia. I guess. We get different, uh, different text here. No. Excellent. I'll go into the back and get your money. Hand over the diamond so I can put it in, into my safe. Wait here, please. This seems like a terrible idea. Why did you give him the diamond without getting the money first? I didn't realize it took so long to count 20,000 silver, Alex. Maybe it's too heavy for him to carry it all, carry it all out here at once. Alex, something's wrong. Gross! Hello! How are you? Alex Ramus! Dross is gone! And so is the Dragon Diamond! He even had! Please don't hurt me. I just started working here. I don't know anything. I don't know anyone. Uh, why don't you go talk to Master Mill? Maybe he can help you. This is my fault, Alex. I should have known Dross was a con man from the start. I got cocky because I was able to catch Clyde. I'm so sorry. Well... Ramus has been had. And all we can really hope to do is go tell on them. Uh, go tell on the shopkeeper. So, lad, what's on your mind? We were trying to sell our diamond to, to a man named Dross, but he stole it. Ugh, if I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. That Dross is a crook. It is your fault too. You can't just go hand you can't just hand over valuable jewels like that. Since you're trying to become adventurous, I think I'll let you solve this on your own. Test your strength, but test your heart, lad. All you can truly rely on is yourself. Alex, you said you wanted an adventure, and here's one for you. Now you're asking me to bail you out already? What kind of adventures are you to be? Can you at least give us a lead? I mean, even, even a proper adventurer will, uh, will not hesitate to ask for advice. Oh, can you let us pass? Okay, you will let us pass. Um, so yeah, the save feature is not especially working right now. Not really sure why. So we're going to just do this. And we're going to use save states because yeah, ultimately we'd be able to save anywhere anyway. There does seem to be um, some pretty nasty stuff going here, but this time we shouldn't 
die quite so quickly, hopefully. But we do have three players here. Pretty punchy. I was gonna say, but I'm punchy, but none of us are actually punching anything. Two of us have bows and one has a sword. And Null is just kind of fluttering there off, in, off on the side. Why are you using sword dance literally every turn? It seems like it's not the best idea. Maybe I should use tactics so that uh, he doesn't do that. Scarlet. I think that's uh. Yeah, that's MP Restore. Oh geez. That is not where I wanted to go, actually. Hmm. I think I'm going to use my super for this. That did the trick. Easy experience. Starlight. Is there anything over there other than that enemy? I don't think there is. in-depth use of tactics later. Right now I'm just trying to keep Alex in check and make sure that he doesn't use all his MP all the time. Unfortunately, we can't actually interact with it. Hmm. You know what, Alex? Go nuts. piling up on Rainus. Oh! Um, you attack that one. 
you are going to need to heal the crap out of Remus. Uh, some heals all around, honestly, would not be a bad idea. You know, there are other targets. Holy crap. Also, the two of you could probably focus your efforts a little bit. Alright, I'll take control. Nope. Okay. And now I'm gonna bring Raymond's back up with 1 HP. I think that means Ramus also gets the experience, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Anyway, Luna, please. This sure looks like, uh, like the labyrinthine sewer, honestly. Who, who builds them like this, honestly? Come on! That was unnecessary, game. I really don't like how these enemies work. Oh hey! So there's a chance that Null brings someone back even during the fight? Not the buddy. Naturally, both of them are going to attack Ramus. And leave him again with 1 HP because they hit for exactly the same amount that Luna healed for. I think this fight is supposed to be this rough. Okay, 
Okay, down to one. We just all attack. Make sure this guy goes down. There we go. Cool. And there's a non-zero chance I'm actually gonna have to like escape in mid-dungeon and just have to have to like restore my health of the statue and get some more items. Oh we're doing this again. I say no. So there's up over that, and so there's Remus. Oh jeez. This gotta respawn. Eh. These are, uh, are tough. Spin rush. Okay, they they have high defense, but they have they seem to have low attack. Well, maybe not. Down goes Remus. Here comes Remus. Him because like things are a little dire in this dungeon. Yeah. I took care of the snakes. I think that's a full restore, but uh, it's a pretty good restore. Actually, that might have been a full restore. Luna's level up.
think this is the damn position. How are we looking at money? 16, 20? Actually, hang on. Before I go through this area, Focus your attacks. Like, why do they all attack Uranus? Like, that is the trait of this specific enemy, is that they will first target Uranus. Just hate Remus, what can I say? Double kill. Gaining money at a pretty decent tip, though. Oh, I forgot to heal up right. At least the snakes aren't so bad. Herb, 500 monies. Thank you. 
I do wonder if, like, um, for that other enemy, if the, um, the decision process is like, we're gonna go for the one that has the lowest defense first, and because Reynus' stats except his HP don't go up when, when you level up. And unless you're stacking Reynus with like, all of the best gear and uh, nobody else, then that's going to be Reynus pretty much every time. Also, you saw a chest in this direction. Oh, there's going to be two fights to get there. Doesn't look terrible. Although again, I forgot to heal this. Uh, let's do a heal for everyone, actually. Interesting decision. Huh? Didn't take him down, unfortunately. And this time, those both went for Alex. But this turn should finish the game. There we go. Well, we've seen this layout before. I kind of obliterated it the first time. This is probably not going to uh, be the same, but uh, I'll give it a go. Unfortunately, that didn't take anything down. So this could be bad. Spin rush isn't too terrible though. Unless it has like a trick that does absurd amounts of damage. But that's not it. Oh, they are definitely focusing down Alex this time. And he is not doing so great. And he cannot do explosive stat again. So I guess um, that's what I was going to do super. I think after we get this chest though, I'm going to use my warp wing and get out of here. Equip up a little bit. Because uh, we're a little rough around the edges at this point. So, rope not in blue. First things first, let's go heal up. Now, let's find us a shop. And goodness knows, Moravia has a lot of them.
have you now. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about waiting this honestly. It's not his attack. I might get him some some armor or something. Surely we're gonna need this, but right now nobody can equip it. I'm also gonna go to the Magic Guild because I think there's possibly something more for for Luna there. For that matter, we're gonna need another Warp Brain. I believe you have those. to have a just buy the one extra healing for it for now. Oh right, we're selling the toothbrush. Uh, this is the shop? on this screen. And you also sell a fireball stuff that I can't use. Sure. And now it's back down to the sewers. Now to save for good measure, cause the regular save system doesn't work. And so we should be a little better equipped to deal with things now. For the most part. And I was definitely prioritizing um, Alex and Luna. Not so much Remus.
That's everyone. We're gonna start with explosive stab. Put everyone on a roll to hurt. Yeah. Let's see if we can take out two of these. Nope, because Ramus is gonna miss like a doofus. Three attacks, three kills. And technically four. Now it settles up and learns vigor. We know Lola and learns escape sign. Rena settles up and doesn't learn anything. I was wondering there because there was a there was a chest there that uh, we haven't opened yet. But I I remember I think the um, the bridge was uh, was up for that one. You didn't miss, right, miss? Also, this fight is pretty much over. Oh, it's gonna be like, oh, Luna's taking the uh, the credit for the last kill, but no, not quite. Good try. With uh, his vision on self strength up. Yeah. Ooh, that was a good hit. Don't miss. What did I just say? Trying to double kill like that. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give Ramus any crap for not killing that novelist because it does have a very high uh, defense. And Ramus doesn't have the best weapon, honestly. Five hundred monies.
think that was just a chest, yeah, two chests that we've already collected. I think we want to sneak by this guy and go over here. And that'll take us forward. Ah, rabbit fins. I love V. Fortunately, I can just hit all of you with one attack. Got two of them. Naturally, Ramus misses. So he suffers the wrath because these guys go over Ramus first. The other two, you know what to do. Ah, nice crisp. There you go. This is just the three evil wisps. I'm gonna focus your attacks. I know I said it in the first part, but I still can't get enough of being a little battle shimmy. Hmm. I don't know how important this door is. But it looks a little significant. It looks like we might, perhaps, meet our, um, our pilfering conman in there. Or maybe something completely different, I don't know. The point is, we're gonna find out after the break. We all can take a moment, uh, get some drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10-15 minutes, we shall see what lies beyond this door. So, I'll see you in a bit.